Hey guys, today I'm going to Platinum Titanfall 2. I played Titanfall 2 around a year ago and really enjoyed myself. I attempted to Platinum it, but I got caught on the trophy for placing the top 3 in the Gauntlet race. One day, I decided to just go back and finish the job. So I went back to the Gauntlet, and it actually didn't take too long for me to beat it. That puts me at 36 out of 50 trophies completed. All I need to do now is complete the campaign on Master Difficulty and get all of the collectibles along the way with a few other miscellaneous trophies. Before jumping into the campaign, I went into a multiplayer match to get the trophy for winning one. This is actually a pretty convenient time to go for the Platinum, seeing as the player count on Steam has been skyrocketing lately. I enjoyed the match, and to be honest, the hardest part was connecting to EA servers, just like Battlefront 2. Anyway, I got the trophy and then moved on to the campaign. We play as Rifleman Jack Cooper, a nobody who wants to become a Titan pilot in the Frontier Militia. We are currently training under Captain Lastimosa. Unfortunately for him, he is a mentor character, which is basically a death sentence. All of a sudden, during our training, we are deployed to fight off some IMC forces. The IMC is the main villain of the game. They are basically a huge corporation that destroys planets and exploits their natural resources. Hey, I think I've seen that one before. We get in these pods and crash down onto the surface at a pretty cinematic cutscene. We get completely screwed by AMC forces and I get knocked out. Some creatures from Avatar are about to finish me off, but Captain Lestimosa jumps in and saves the day before getting destroyed by these assholes Richter and Blisk. Luckily, they don't notice me, so when they leave, I go over and speak with Lastimosa. And in his final moments, he gives me control of his Titan. I go around for a bit and collect batteries for the Titan, and then we get in. His name is BT, and he's actually voiced by the same guy as Optimus Prime. After that, I go around for a bit killing IMC forces before making our way to a militia rendezvous point. It is here where we encounter our first Titan on Titan combat experience. It's really fun! Here, I got a trophy for keeping these two soldiers alive. After that, we make our way further into this IMC facility, and we have to get out of BT and fight our way through on foot. The combat outside the Titan is so fun and smooth in this game. I've played Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which is pretty similar, but for some reason this is just so much better. After getting through the facility, we get back into BT and have a boss fight with this mercenary, Kane. We kill him and also take his radio so we can listen in on the enemy's private conversations. I learned some interesting things. Blisk is going through a divorce and Richter has severe anxiety and depression. I think the developers really wanted to show off the soldier gameplay because we get separated from BT yet again. We're in this weird ass place where they build houses with automated machines to practice invasions on. We get caught and this crazy bitch puts me in one of those simulators and I have to fight my way out. This part was insanely difficult. Luckily, I played it before so I kinda knew what to expect. Before escaping, we have a boss fight with Ash, the lady who put me in there. I kill her, and she burns alive inside her Titan. Afterwards, BT and I got to this place where I can use this device to change from past to present. It's pretty wacky, but also really fun. At the end of the mission, time just stops and we scan this big blue ball called the Ark. It does something that I'm sure of, I just don't know what exactly. We subsequently go and help out these Frontier Militia troops pinned down in this building. We go inside and find this thing called the Arc Tool that can turn machines on and off. Getting it made me feel really bad because this guy Marvin was smiling, but then I took it from him, which made him very upset. I can no longer sleep at night. We then go to this big building to fix something. This is actually a really fun mission because BT throws me over and I get to use the Arc Tool to activate these robots to fight for me. We get this big machine and shove it in the tower and then go back down to our friends. On our way, we get ambushed by Richter and put an end to his anxiety and depression. Subsequently, some more militia forces arrive and the commanding officer tries to take me away from BT just because I'm not a qualified pilot. I decide to identify as a qualified pilot so removing me would violate their diversity and inclusion policy. Following that, we storm an IMC base and try to steal this big box of something. This is actually a pretty cool large-scale battle and the developers did it really well. I still can't get over how well made this game is. Please give us Titanfall 3. Anyway, we are kinda retarded so the enemy gets well with the big ball and that makes us very sad. Afterwards, we jump on these ships and we literally do parkour from ship to ship which is pretty fucking insane. On top of the ship, there is a pretty fun boss fight with this dude Viper. It was difficult, but I managed by shooting the pilot in the head while BT held the cockpit open. BT and I get back inside and we find the big blue ball. Hopefully it's not too dangerous because I just jump right on in and hope for the best. BT puts it inside himself and then the ship explodes and we get captured. In order to save my life, BT gives the mercenaries the arc and then they shoot him. In his final moments, he gives me a pistol that has literal aimbot. No, I'm, I'm not joking, it's freaking epic. It was in this mission where I got the trophy for shooting three enemies while sliding in one go. Once we've escaped, a new titan comes down and I put BT's brain in him, so we get him back. We then chase down Blisk who has the arc. Here I get a trophy for killing 25 infantry in 2 seconds. Eventually we catch up with Blisk and another bounty hunter Sloan and we have a pretty fun boss fight. 
I kill Sloane, but then I try to rip the arc out, and I just kind of fall down and die. Bliss comes along, and for some reason, he doesn't kill me. He just gives me an advertisement for Apex Legends. The IMC get the arc weapon up and running, and are about to use it. Luckily, BT still has some strength left, so he launches himself into it and throws me out, sacrificing himself once again. For real this time. Protect the pilot. BT, what are you doing? Trust me. BT! The Ark is destroyed, and they all live happily ever after. Completing the campaign earned me two trophies, one for completing it on hard, and one for completing it on master. During the campaign, I got most of the collectibles, but I had to go back for a few. In total, getting all of the collectibles gave me three trophies. Finally, I went and got the final five trophies, which were destroy a titan with my sword core, kill a caged prowler in the wildlife research labs, kill three titans with one titan core ability, destroy a titan with the flame core, and kill a mercenary with a melee execution. And there is the Titanfall 2 Platinum. I fucking love this game, dude. If you haven't played it, I'd highly recommend it. Now, go and check out this video where I Platinum Wolfenstein, the new order.